Welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that tomorrow is September. Um, I am going to do my wrap-up. Um, I participated in a couple of readathons in the month of August, so I am happy I finished um, 14 books. Uh, four of them were graphic novels. Um, I think one, two were middle grade. And the rest were adult and young adult. So I'm going to tell you which ones I read. And I will also um, tell you what I have started and I have out from the library. So hopefully I will get to them. Anyway, so um, the first book I read in August was The Half-Life of Molly Pierce by Kathy Langland. Is this one? And I gave it five stars. And my comments here in my book, I wrote, A tilt -a wheel of the first novel, a breathtaking thrill that takes you in one direction and then spins you in another, over and over, keeping you guessing with every turn of the page, by Michael Thomas Ford. And that tells you, I don't want to tell you anything else about the book, but that tells you about that book. So, I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. Uh, the next book I read was a middle grade book. Um, I started the series, um, A Series of Unforgettable Events, and the first book is called The Bad Beginnings, which is this one, and I gave that five stars, and I, it's a middle grade book, and in my notes, it reminded me of the movie Despicable Me. If you like Despicable Me, um, it's my favorite cartoon movie that I watch with the kids. Um, it's about three orphan kids um, that go uh, and live with their uncle and they don't like their uncle. I think it was an uncle, but uh, it was an uncle or cousin, but I think it was an uncle. Uh, and he's very rude and mean to them. And it was a very short book. Um, I think it was like 200 pages long, but I really enjoyed it, and I do have all 13 books, so I can want to continue the series, so, um, I'm finished with that book, so. The next book I read, um, was A Face on a Milk Carton. I gave this four stars, um, and that's this book, I'm sorry, Face on a Milk Carton. Actually, my book looks different than that cover, but that's what they had on you, um, Goodreads, and I gave it four stars. It's uh, about a 15-year-old girl uh, that is happy, and she goes to school, and one day when she's having lunch, she sees her face on a milk carton. And then after she sees her face, she starts remembering of her past and questioning if she was, if she really, was she really kidnapped, was she stolen? And um, it's a very short book. It's 180 pages. Um, I did enjoy it, but I gave it four stars because she didn't start remembering until after she saw the little thing. So you would think she would have some memories before. Um, I just thought it was like far-fetched. So um, that's why I gave it four stars. Uh, the next book um, I pre-ordered. And that was Rainbow um, Rowell's Landline, which is this one. And I pre-ordered that book, and I just was very disappointed in it. I wanted to, it to be very good, and I guess it was just too hyped up. And um, I thought it would be more real-to-life type thing. It's about a woman who um, takes... Um, she decides to put her work before her family, and her, fa her husband goes to the mother's, his mother's house, and le leaves her. And while he's gone, she's calling him on um, a landline, and she gets him as he was younger before they even um, got married. So I just thought it was far-fetched. It was a little slow-moving, and um, I just thought it would be much better. I only gave it three stars. It was okay. Um, it's not my best uh, Rainbow Row book. I think Attachments was so much better. Um, anyway, the next book I read was Someday, oh, Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. And that's this one. And I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed this book. Um, the only problem I had was the subject matter. I'm not 
uh, for cheating and I just don't like the subject matter and um, I think it's totally wrong but um, I did enjoy the book and I do plan on reading another uh, Colleen Hoover book I'm actually reading Hopeless right I'm li actually listening to Hopeless right now so it's on my audible and I'm really enjoying that one as well so I gave that one four stars uh, the next book I picked up uh, when I was going um, doing my online shopping for Book Outlet. I wound up finding a book uh, that I had no idea about and I picked it up from the library instead of buying the book. So it's called Red Heart Tattoo by Lur Lurleen McNall. And that's what this is what the book looks like. Um, I gave it four stars. Um, it's a tragic story about a bombing in a high school. And I really, really enjoyed this book. Gave it four, um, it's very sh short, um, 180 pages, so I read it really quickly. Um, it has a love story at the end, um, and it's basically the aftermath of what happened at the high school, like what ha how they deal with the bombing and the loss of the people that would... Um, killed from the bomb so and let's see sorry I'm getting out of winded <laughs> um, the next book I picked up on my Kindle and I got this free it's on it's free from Goodreads it's an adult book um, it's making fun of Shades of Grey which I really like that book um, but it's called 51 Shades uh, it's a parody and it's this one and right now, um, it is on Goodreads to read for free. It's three chapters long. Um, it's I gave it a four out of five. It basically is the same exact thing as Shades of Grey, except he adds a lot of funny uh, fun to it. So uh, it's very a lot of humor. So. And it's also a mature read, so it's for adults, so I just suggest. Um, the next book I listened to on audio, um, it's called Prisoner of Night and Fog. I gave it by Anne Blackman, and it's book one of a series. I gave it four stars. Uh, it's very slow-moving. Um, she repeats a lot, and... Um, it's told by Hitler's niece, so the story takes place before Hitler comes to power, and um, it it can be a little confusing because she calls him Hitler, she calls him Uncle Dorf, she calls him all different different things, and to me it got confusing. Why doesn't she just use one name, like? Um, and then while you're listening to it, I was like, who the heck is she talking about? Like, <laughs> but, um, I'm hoping that th it's supposed to be a sequel. So I'm hoping that book two will be, um, better, but I enjoyed it. I did, did give it a four. Um, the next book I gave a five star to called Still Alice by Lisa Genova. And I listened to this on audio. Um, and I listened to this on audio and I could not put it down. I started it. I mean, I couldn't listen. I listened to it all day long and like I finished it in one day. Um, uh, it's about uh, a woman who is 50 years old and she, um, um, gets Alzheimer's. So she starts losing her memory and it's like little things. It's told by her. And she tells the story about, like, how she starts losing her memory. And the whole story is, like, from the time she gets diagnosed to the time she's in the doctor's office. And then I actually cried when she was in the doctor's office and the doctor told her that she had Alzheimer's. So, I'm um, like, that's my major fear that I'm going to have Alzheimer's because I have lots of signs of um, memory loss. So... That's one of my major um, fears. So um, I really enjoyed the book. It was I gave it a five stars. So um, the next book, the next book I picked up. Um, I've been reading a lot of young adults. So 
I finally picked up an adult book and <laughs> this one is called Wall Banger by Alice Clayton and it's this one and my son's like what the heck is that picture he's like why is his arms on the back and I'm like that's the lady's feet but <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's a really funny um, book um, it has, it's very mature tent. It's like shades of gray. Um, it has a lot of sex in it. Um, it is an adult. It really was really, really funny in the beginning. Um, it slowed down in the middle and then it picked up again at the end. So, um, it was really enjoyable. And if you like cats and you are a cat owner, you will really enjoy the humor in this book. So, it was funny, but also it's mature adults. So, and it is a sequel. So I'm hoping to get book two, um, eventually and read that. Um, the next four books are my graphic novels that I read. And the first one is called Amulet. And it was book one. It's this one here. Amulet. Okay. And I gave this one a five stars. It is a graphic novel. And it's a colorful graphic novel. And I'm pretty sure it's in the middle grade section because I didn't see, um, uh, I think my, I, I read it and I think my daughter would be able to enjoy it. Um, it is, it does deal with death in the beginning and, um, there's some ghosts and there's some science fiction in it. Um, but, and it was a really quick read. So, um, and it was also a series. So, um, I'm hoping to get book two in September. Um, the next book. I read was Scott Pilgrim. It's another graphic novel. I gave this one a four out of five. Um, that's this one. This is book one. And I gave it four out of five. It's about a boy that's 23 years old. He's dating a 17 year old and he uh, loves another woman. So it's kind of adult. It has some um, language that's inappropriate for youngsters. And I started to read it with Justin, and then I was like, oh, Justin, you can't read this, because it has some gay, it has a gay guy in it, and um, there was some language that I thought was inappropriate for my son to read, so I told him he couldn't read the book. Anyway, um, I did read book one, and I also read book two. I just finished that today. This is book two. And book two, I only gave three stars to. There's a, there's a woman's fight in it. There's a lot of, it's in black and white. Um, both books are in black and white. And um, the girl characters, they're very hard to distinguish who is who. Um, you can't really tell. One has, says that she had her hair dyed, but you can't really tell because it's in black and white. So, um, and there is a uh, cat fight with two women, two girls, so. And the last book I read um, was Death Note, the Black Edition, number two. It's a black graphic novel in black and white. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It continued. I gave it another five stars. Um, I, can t I can't tell you much about it, but they did add another character. Um, so, so now there is two people that are um, doing the Death Note. And... Um, I really enjoyed it, and I plan to continue the series. So, and that's all that I read for the month of August. So, what did I start? <coughs> well, I have hopeless. I'm sorry, I have allergies. My, I have such a bad headache for the last two days. I'm taking Allegro, but it's not really working that well. Anyway, um, on my, um, I'm listening to hopeless. Um, on my phone and I'm also by Colleen Hoover and I'm also listening to Alcatraz with it's a middle grade book with my kids in the car on the way so we're in the middle of those two um, I'm also started All the Light We Cannot See uh, by Anthony Dewar um, I didn't get very far I'm only on page 32 but I have no idea what's going on so I don't know if I'm going to continue this or not um, and I got back, I started reading a book last month and never finished it and I had to return it to the library. So I got this back, uh, from the library. They called me again, uh, Wild by Alex Mallory. Um, I am 
on page 213. Um, it's a retelling of Tarzan. So it's in today's form. There's a boy that lives in the woods and she lives in the world. So it's it's very interesting. I really enjoyed it. So I did put it back on hold and I, they just called me and I got to pick it up again. So I hopefully will finish this in September. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I also uh, started Big Little Lies by Leon Morty. I finally got this book in the mail and I just, I just started it. So I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but um, this is, uh, I'm only on page 15. I wanted to start reading it, so I'm reading that. Um, I started the Rosie Project, and I am on page 67 of that. So, and from the library, I still have Hidden Girl that I want to read. And The Gifts of Imperfection, I have this one I'm trying to read. And then also from the library, I have a whole bunch of books behind me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish them. I have three weeks to read them, and I don't know. We'll go, we go back to school, so my time is going to be really limited. So we'll see what happens. But what I have out from the library right now is The Kiss of Deception, The Life List. I have three graphic novels from Left Behind that I wanted to finish. These are fast and easy, maybe an hour to take to read these. Um, I want to finish Unwept. Um, and then I have new ones. Avalon by Mindy Arnett. Uh, One Kick by Sully Shelsa Kane. Uh, A Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard and A City of Thousand Dolls uh, by Miriam For Forster. Um, I know that um, the end of this year or like November, December or January, the second or third book is going to come out of this one. The second book is coming out for this one and the third book I think is coming out for this one. So that's why I picked these up, requested them from the library, so I could catch up and maybe order the new books. So anyway, I don't know if I'm going to get to any of these books, but we'll see. <laughs> I always change my mind. I, I start reading it, and I don't like it, and I, like, put it down, and I pick something else up. So it really has to um, get my interest. So anyway, if you have read any of these books and recommends me read them, Please comment below and I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.